Hello everyone and welcome to your next video in the Bash um, console. So here we are, we are in um, where we left the last video, so inside the user1 folder. Um, let's take a look at how to navigate using the Bash. Um, from now I'm just going to call it a console because there's many different types of consoles and many of them share simil uh, are quite similar in at least the first few commands. So we want to view the directory contents we can use the ls command ls uh, I think stands for list structure or something along those lines um, will let us see what it is that we have inside the current folder so as we remember we are in the user1 folder as we can see here that's, that's the current folder maybe your console will be slightly different in in the first bit uh, at least as, as well actually this this whole bit could be different in your console but typing ls will show you the contents of the current folder um and if you want um a bit of um more structured output you can use ls-l where the l stands for long um, and there we can see um, we can see times when the file was last modified. We can see the user to which the file belongs. In my case, my username is JSLVTR, just like this channel. Um, and we can see my user here. So that's the user. This is the group. I, I am in the staff group, but if I was in a different group, such as, for example, uh, admin group, this would be my group. This is the size of the file. As you can see, this deleted.txt file only has 15 bytes. Uh, and that's the time, and this is the name of the file, obviously. These we will look at later on, because they are a bit complex right now. Also, sometimes there will be what is called a hidden file or hidden folder in your um, in your folder. Um, so, for example, if there were any hidden files inside this folder, which I know there are, we will see them with ls.a. Sorry, dash a. A stands for all. And here we see we have dot ds underscore store. We have a single dot and two dots. And this is quite interesting. Any file that starts with a dot is going to be hidden, at least in uh, Unix-like systems. Um, so, ls dash a is going to show me the hidden files ls oh sorry ls dash uh, ls dash al is going to show me um, all the files in a long format so here we see um, dot ds store backups and all the other files um, and the two dots and the one dot okay so, what can we do apart from listing the files of the current directory? Well, what we can do is we can change directory, and we do that with a command that is cd. cd stands for change directory. So, we can do cd, and then, guess what? We can put two dots. Two dots are a file in our current directory, and what these two dots mean is the parent directory, so which folder is above this current folder. As we can see, we have now changed to the folder Anki, and if I type ls, user1 is a file or folder inside Anki. So doing cd dot dot took me to the top folder of my um, current folder. This is all very interesting, but how do you know which folder you're going to go to? Well, the last command I want to show you in this video is pwd, which stands for Present Working Directory. So right now we are in users jslvtr documents anki. If I type cd dot dot, I'm going to go to documents. If when I'm there I type cd dot dot, I'm going to go to jslvtr. And I can concatenate these, and now we can see I am in users forward slash jslvtr because I've gone up 
by two folders. Makes sense, doesn't it? But why do I see a tilde here? What, what, what does this tilde mean? Well, tilde is simply the current user's home directory. So my user is JSLVTR, and in Mac, users have folders that belong to that user under the user's directory. So my user's folder is users forward slash JSLVTR. This folder is, um, is written as a tilde for my user. So if I go up to users and type ls and I go to a different user, such as the guest user, I no longer see a tilde because guest is not my current user. So I would only see the tilde on the current user. If I switch user and I go to users forward slash JSLVTR, I wouldn't see a tilde because I would not be in the JSLVTR user. If that all makes sense, then I am happy that you've understood me and we'll be moving on next time to some more advanced bash uh, commands in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.